What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia, and I've got a vocabulary lesson for you today. We're going to learn 10 advanced nouns that will help you expand your vocabulary and score higher when taking your CAE and CP exams. Are you ready? So grab your notebook and let's get into it. So first we're going to learn five C1 nouns and then in the second part of the lesson we're going to look at five C2 nouns. So the first noun that I want to teach you today is outcome. Outcome. And it's a more advanced synonym of result. And now let's look at three examples. The first one, the merger had a very successful outcome. The merger had a very successful outcome. The second example, Tim's empire is the outcome of his hard work and commitment. Tim's empire is the outcome of his hard work and commitment. And the last example is too soon to know what the outcome of the agreement will be. Is too soon to know what the outcome of the agreement will be. Let's move on to our second noun, which is hazard. Hazard. It's also a more advanced synonym of danger or risk. And now some examples. The first one, the coronavirus is a health hazard, especially to elderly people. The coronavirus is a health hazard, especially to elderly people. The second example, some countries should be more aware of the hazard of global warming. Some countries should be more aware of the hazard of global warming. And the last example, there is no doubt that smoking represents a serious hazard to people's health. There is no doubt that smoking represents a serious hazard to people's health. Let's continue. Our third noun is occurrence. Occurrence. This is American pronunciation. Occurrence. And the British one is occurrence. Occurrence. And pay attention to its spelling as it's quite tricky. We've got double C and double R. And the meaning is something that happens or exists. And now a few examples. The first one, vandalism is the frequent occurrence in this area. Vandalism is the frequent occurrence in this area. The second example, traffic jams are an everyday occurrence in big cities. Traffic jams are an everyday occurrence in big cities. And the last example here, the plot of the series Broadchurch is full of unexpected occurrences. The plot of the series Broadchurch is full of unexpected occurrences. Guys, if you haven't seen this British series, I totally recommend watching it. It's available on Netflix. It's gripping and you'll be hooked right from the start. Okay, let's continue. Number four, ratio. Ratio. It means a relationship between two groups of people or things that is represented by two numbers showing how much bigger one group is than the other. And now three examples. The first one, what's the ratio of men to women occupying leading positions in Spanish companies? What's the ratio of men to women occupying leading positions in Spanish companies? We have to use the preposition to. The ratio of something or somebody to somebody or something. So remember to use the preposition to. The second example, the ratio of candidates to available places is 100 to 1 in this public examination. The ratio of candidates to available places is 100 to 1 in this public examination. And the last example, my degree in audiovisual communication had a very high female-male ratio. 
my degree in audiovisual communication had a very high female-male ratio. Let's continue. Our noun number five is boundary. Boundary. It means a real or imaginary line that marks the limits of something. And now let's look at three examples. The first one, imagination has no boundaries. Imagination has no boundaries. The second example, the fall of the Berlin Wall broke down boundaries dividing East and West Berlin. The fall of the Berlin Wall broke down boundaries dividing East and West Berlin. And the last example, you need to set and keep your personal boundaries. You need to set and keep your personal boundaries. And now let's move on to our C2 nouns. Number six, outbreak. Outbreak. It's a time when something unpleasant or dangerous suddenly starts. It can be a disease, war or fighting. And now some examples. The first one, there was an outbreak of food poisoning at school last month. There was an outbreak of food poisoning at school last month. The second example, new coronavirus outbreaks have been detected in Spain. New coronavirus outbreaks have been detected in Spain. And the last example, I hope there won't be a new coronavirus outbreak anytime soon. I hope there won't be a new coronavirus outbreak anytime soon. Let's continue. Number seven, pursuit. Pursuit. This is the American pronunciation, pursuit, and the British one is pursuit. Pursuit. And it's the act of trying to achieve or find something, usually over a long period of time. And now, some examples. The first one, a lot of people buy self-help books in pursuit of happiness. A lot of people buy self-help books in pursuit of happiness. The second example, Alec is working long hours in pursuit of success. Alec is working long hours in pursuit of success. And the last example here, Ellie quit her job and started traveling the world in the pursuit of her dreams. Ellie quit her job and started traveling the world in the pursuit of her dreams. Let's continue. Number eight, green. Short E. Green. And it means a wide smile. And now a few examples. The first example, the groom gave a broad grin when he saw the bride at the altar. The groom gave a broad grin when he saw the bride at the altar. The second example, I had a big grin on my face when crossing the finish line. I had a big grin on my face when crossing the finish line. And the last example, a white grin is the best accessory. A white grin is the best accessory. Our second to last noun is buzz. Buzz. At the end, the sound z. Buzz. And it has two meanings. The first one is a continuous low sound. An example sentence, the bass of the fan is a bit annoying. The bass of the fan is a bit annoying. And the second meaning is a strong feeling of pleasure, excitement or achievement. For example, traveling gives me a real bass. Traveling gives me a real bass. And the last example, I get a bus out of watching gripping series. I get a bus out of watching gripping series. And last but not least, the noun treat. Treat. It's an enjoyable and special occasion or experience. And now three examples. The first one, sushi is my favorite treat. Sushi is my favorite treat. The second example, the massage was her birthday treat. The massage was her birthday treat. 
And the last example, you should give yourself a treat. You deserve it after having passed the exam with flying colors. You should give yourself a treat. You deserve it after having passed the exam with flying colors. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this English bit and found it useful. If you want to learn more C1 and C2 nouns, check out the first edition right here. And of course, if you learned something new, don't forget to like this lesson, to share it with your friends and family who are learning English, to subscribe to my channel and do my daily quiz on Instagram. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!